Hydroxychloroquine, state leaders discussing the controversial drug today. There has been a lot said about it. For more on this conversation, I want to send it over to Jay Burr. He's joining us now live from the state capitol on what was talked about today, Jay. Yeah, Bob, State Senator Jason Rayford has been pretty open about his experience with COVID-19, especially the fact that he says he was denied treatment with the usage of hydroxychloroquine. And that was something that was discussed heavily today at the state capitol. Monday's joint ALC Health Insurance Oversight Subcommittee meeting got a little heated at times. And that's exactly what this is doing. When you're presenting an exception, I'll take exception to your words, representative. The center of the discussion was the usage, or lack thereof, of hydroxychloroquine in Arkansas. Both those for and against its use agreed that wanted the information out in public. If you go on Facebook or Twitter, all those things, you have all this misinformation. And some people even think purposeful misinformation being put out as it regards COVID treatments. Committee Chair State Senator Jason Rapert brought in doctors from around the country to give their testimony to the committee on the effectiveness of hydroxychloroquine. But not every lawmaker was sold on that testimony. Cause and correlation means something. Both sides of the issue do believe that this issue has been politicized. There's no cure for something and people grasp at snake oil. That's why I hate to see, you know, this politicized. Unfortunately, this occurred in a presidential election year. I want Arkansas residents and I want Americans to have access to treatment without people politicizing the process. Representative Ferguson says people should listen to the advice of medical professionals and not force the issue of using hydroxychloroquine. I know people are frustrated and they want a treatment, they want they want a vaccine, they want something to prevent it, but uh, you ha I mean, doctors went to medical school for a reason. Senator Rapert echoes that same sentiment despite being a proponent of the drug and feels that many doctors are caught in the middle of a political game. They need to let doctors practice medicine. And what's happening is you have doctors afraid to practice medicine for fear of losing their jobs. Now, Secretary of Health Dr. Jose Romero also questioned today on his thoughts of the uses of hydroxychloroquine. He says he doesn't endorse his usage, its usage because he says there's just not enough evidence that uh, quantify the fact that it is effective. But he's also saying that the state is not necessarily denying anybody the treatment with the use of hydroxychloroquine. Live from the state capitol, Jay Burt, KRK4 News.